Hello everybody, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is Tatum here and in today's video, we are going to the Apple store and getting an iPad and a MacBook and some different accessories and stuff from Amazon. This is kind of like a little bit of a tech haul slash a vlog of like me getting this stuff for my dual enrollment in the fall. I needed a new laptop and stuff for school. I know my Chromebook wouldn't cut it anymore, so it's also a loner Chromebook, so it's not even mine because mine's, like, dead permanently. So it was time for a change, so let's do it. <laughs> I have a package in the mailbox right now. Now, I'm not, like, huge on dorm shopping super early, but this was literally $2, so I had to do it. And then we got some rice and gravy with extra gravy from Magic Walk. Literally delicious. You need to go get it if you haven't tried it before. And then we went to the Apple Store, which I didn't exactly know if we were doing today. So I was, like, just recording just in case. But we did it. And I got the MacBook Air and the iPad 9th generation. We then went to my grandpa's, so I didn't get to set them up yet. All right. It is way too late at night. Um... But we're going to be setting up my iPad. So, let's do it. I left the screen protectors across the room and I don't want to get up. I have to get up. <laughs> okay, one sec. Right here, we have the iPad 9th generation. This is the gray with the 254 or 6... 256 gigabytes of storage. This is just the Wi-Fi, not the cellular. This is my first Apple device. I wanted to set up the iPad first. This one I wanted to monkey around with first. I also have these Allen glass screen protectors. Um, I know that they make paper-like ones, and I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool because what I'm going to be using them for is like mostly writing notes, but I I figured glass would be more of a protector. So that's what I'm starting with glass for right now. Got the iPad smart keyboard. This was a gift from my brother. He had this. He no longer needed it. So he gave it to me. He also gave me the Logitech Cran. This is the one with the lightning charger. It's the orange color, as you can see. So we have the Logitech Crayon. It is probably not charged. It is heavy. Right now I do not have a case just because the case is not in yet, but I figured right now we could go without a case. Um, I don't know how to work this, can you tell? And also doing this with one hand. Um, here's the smart keyboard. But yeah, so I decided to get a case and the smart keyboard because I have the MacBook as well. So I figured, I'm not going to use the smart keyboard like all the time, but at the same time, I do want to keep my iPad protected. So like I'm going to be taking the case off to put the smart keyboard on when I need it. But like the case is going to be on most of the time to keep it safe. So we're going to open this up. It keeps going out of focus and I'm sorry about that. I don't know why it's doing that. I think it's just because it's a white box and it's got the shiny stuff on it still, so hopefully it doesn't do that. I don't know, like, how much of this I'm going to record, like, setting up-wise. Um, this vlog is kind of spontaneous, very random. I picked it up sometimes, um, but it's late, like I said, so I don't know how much I'm going to record. Um, but I got both of them in space gray color because I wanted them to match. I was debating on getting the gold MacBook and, like, the gray iPad, but I was like, mm, that's going to bother me. So I got them both in space gray. Kind of boring. Also, um, it was a bit more expensive than I thought it would be because I got the warranties on them um, because I'm kind of traumatized. I've had laptops in the past, like I've had them for a month and then they just stopped turning on. Um, so I wanted to get that because I know that they will completely replace these devices if anything happens to them in the three and then the two years for the iPad, the three years for the MacBook. So I got the warranties on both, which 
was a pretty penny but i got the education discount so if you are going to college dual enrollment or you are a teacher or educator of some sort i believe um on that last one i'm not too sure but you can get a discount at apple and best buy does run sales but if you do the math the education discount does make the most sense because you get a hundred dollars or however much off of the macbooks and then you get however much off of ipad so i got a hundred dollars off my macbook twenty dollars off my ipad and then i got a 150 dollar gift card that i could put towards my ipad because we did two separate purchases like two separate transactions so i technically saved 270 dollars um when at best buy it would have been I think just $200 off. So we saved an extra 70 bucks going directly through Apple instead of Best Buy. So yeah, if you can get the education discount, that's the better deal. Just so you know. <laughs> that's got some weight to it. Signed by Apple in California. A one year limited warranty. So it comes with a one year limited warranty. I didn't know that. Pretty much if there's any defects. It does not cover wear and tear, accident, or abuse. So pretty much if they mess up, they cover it. I get two Apple stickers. Can y'all even see this? I can't see what y'all can see. I have y'all at a weird angle. That literally is the most simplistic packaging I have ever seen. Um, ever. So, we're gonna go ahead and uh, dig into this now. The first thing I'm gonna do is put the screen protector on. I am not touching this without a screen protector on. I do not care what anyone says. It is getting a screen protector. Oh my gosh, look at it. I mean, just look at this. Like, I'm not going to touch the screen. I'm not going to touch the screen. But look at it. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Okay, it is so late. If y'all can't tell by, like, the way I'm doing things, I'm, like, moving at a snail's pace. Do you want to say hi to my dog? Rosie. Hi, baby. You're a good girl. Yes. My little filming buddy. Um, but we're going to put on a screen protector right away because I don't want to touch it yet. <laughs> I am afraid, if you cannot tell. So I'm like putting the screen protector on and I'm debating even using like the cleansing wipe. I think I'm just going to take this cloth and kind of just gently wipe it because obviously there's no fingerprints already on it. There's no nothing on it. Like it is crystal clean. You can see my light. Obviously it's reflective, um, <laughs> but it is so clean. I don't see any dust on it. Now's the perfect time to put this on. So <sighs> dear Lord, please do not let there be bubbles. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. All right, let's do this. Guys, let's see what happens. Top button, press to turn on, sleep, or wake iPad. Okay, I just gotta press and hold it. Ah, it's working. Hello. Oh, hello to you too. Press home to open. English. United States. 
I chose to set this up first. I didn't know if it really mattered. My brother said it didn't, so I believed him. Where's the capitalized button? How do I... No, that's not it. How do I... Wait. <laughs> How do I get the explanation point? Oh, that's weird. Okay. It may take a few moments to activate your iPad. Okay. Alrighty, right now I'm going through all the prompts and I'm going to plug in my Logitech crayon. I like this, the feel of this so far. I haven't tried it on the actual thing yet, but I like how it fits in my hand, so that's, yeah. Hey Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Hey Siri, play some music. Dark or light theme? Right now my phone's on dark, so like I kind of want it to be light because everything's dark. Okay guys, so it is the next day. I'm monkeying around with my iPad. I have good notes right now. I'm using the free version. You get three free notebooks. And I just downloaded my first notebook. I'm gonna monkey around with a few different apps. Figure out what one I like more because I'm gonna be writing notes for dual enrollment. I'm gonna try this out. I got this digital notebook from Spec on Spec. Originally found this on Pinterest, um, but then I went to their website to download it because Pinterest was giving me a little bit of problems, but pretty much finding things. So far, Pinterest has been my best friend, as well as Google Shorts, trying to like customize it and stuff. Right now, if you look at my home screen, pretty much the only thing that's customized is my background. Um, I have a bunch of apps to try, like Notability, Colinote, Evernote, different stuff like that. Um, I'm going to get like different widgets and stuff to make it a little prettier, a little more customized. But right now I'm just trying to find a good notes app before I do anything like aesthetic. I just want to find a few that I like to try and narrow down what I want to use. Alrighty guys, so I showed you the Logitech Crayon, I showed you the smart keyboard. Now I'm going to show you what I got. I showed you last night the screen protectors, putting that on. But I got Mosiso, Mo something. It's a laptop sleeve. It's pink. I originally wasn't going to get pink, but it was a few dollars cheaper than all the other colors. So, you know, it's okay that it's pink. It feels pretty decent quality. I will say the handle feels pretty nice. Um, we're going to see if my iPad's going to fit in it because I don't know if it will. We're going to hope and pray. All right, don't mind the weird filming angle. This is just what I'm working with, okay? MacBook. 
goes in. There's a little room. Wiggle room. Okay, so the real question is, can the iPad fit in this front sleeve? That's that's the real kicker here. The people on Amazon questions told me yes. I'm a little nervous. I don't think it's going to fit all the way. I mean, as long as it fits some, like, I'll be mostly okay. We don't fit. Man. Okay, so as far as the sleeve goes, I'm a little disappointed, but it did come with this little charging bag. I don't know if I'm going to return it. If I find something better, maybe. I don't really have that much money right now, as you can probably tell. Um, I'm a little in debt, so we might have to make do for now. But I wanted to show you this. This is a laptop stand that kind of lifts up the laptop. It doesn't like prop it up all the way, but it keeps it at an angle. So you can still access the keyboard, but it lifts the screen so your posture is better. So let me set it up here a little bit. All right, guys. So this is the stand. As you can see, it raises it up a little bit. And then there's different adjustments. We're also going to try it on the iPad because this is a dual purpose one. That's why I got it right now. It is really late. I'm on my iPad. And I found a bunch of digital stickers. And I found a free digital student planner. It's really bulky like the planner is. So I'm going to kind of try and customize it over the next few days. But right now I'm going through stickers. And I'm like adding them to collections. Um, I don't have to do this right now. But for some reason I am. Because I'm not really tired. But like I need to fall asleep. Because it's like 1 o'clock in the morning. The next day. are putting the first sticker on my MacBook. Um, we're putting Come and See, which is from The Chosen, right here. It makes sense to put it right here, right, Griff? When it's somebody's looking at it like this, it like yeah, looks like that. See, yeah, because you have I'm also putting some on my iPad. Not many. Um, I'm still kind of playing around with how many I want to put on here. Just a few. And these ones might not stick that well. I don't really know how to put them on. My dad says something about a hair dryer. So we're going to put on what we can put on right now and see. Look at that, guys. Come and see from The Chosen. Beautiful. It's beautiful. All right, the first sticker's on. The rest I'm going to wait for a simple uh, text back from somebody to see how to put these on because they're a little different than normal stickers. But yeah, this is exciting. They look so good. Setting up my three, three months of Apple TV right now. So that's cool. And we're in. Yeehaw. I've come to the conclusion that Apple TV isn't that great. I mean, I've only been looking for a few minutes, but like, it's not friends. that good. My first big purchase on my iPad was the full version of GoodNotes. I've been trying out the free version with the three notebooks, and I liked it, so I got the full version. And then I found some different things on Pinterest from small businesses, like free digital stickers, free planners, free notebooks, and I've been getting some freebies. So definitely check out Pinterest and just Google and see what you can get for free. All right, everyone. So I did decide that I am going to go ahead and return my laptop sleeve Due to the product description being wrong, um, it says it's for a 13-inch laptop. It's not. I am assuming it's for a 15-inch. So I'm going to return that. I just don't know when. I'm hoping soon, but I'm not exactly sure when. So I'm not going to keep this 
video kind of loose in my camera. I don't really like doing that. Um, so just know that I'm returning that and I'm getting a new one. I don't exactly know what one yet. I'm still picking that out. But other than that, this has been my first few weeks with my new devices, my MacBook M1 13 inch and my iPad 9th generation. Um, I have been absolutely loving them so far. I'm really used to my iPad and I use it every day. The MacBook I'm still getting a bit used to, but I have set up all my dual enrollment stuff on my MacBook, so I'm ready to use it for school, so that's the main important thing. Um, it's July right now, so I won't need it for school until August, but yeah, I'm excited to continue to keep learning how to use it and everything, so... That's Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think down below. Um, it was a super cool experience to be able to get my laptop. And I'm super excited to continue to mess around with it and stuff. So let me know what you think down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one.